Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and welcome back to Hearthstone's Goblin vs. Gnomes Expansion Arena run thingy that I'm doing here. And last round we actually had a pretty entertaining run against a priest, and this time we'll hopefully get something just as easy. Now we'll get a big arena key and show off lots of goodies from it. Because I think the highest I've ever gotten is like 7 or 8. And we have another, another priest to deal with once again priest number two and this is a really bad start we'll just drop those three last time i had a great start with a uh, flame imp and a zombie chow this time i am not nearly as fortunate now granted turn two i could drop a dancing sword which is incredibly powerful a, a four four on turn two depending on what he does if, especially if he drops like a northshire cleric there's a zombie chow that is a good turn one drop we'll go ahead and start with that Hopefully that'll put a bit of pressure on him to be able to use some cards that maybe he didn't want to right off the get-go. Because that is quite a bit of pressure, and it's also kind of an incentive to kill it, you know, restore 5 health. It is really a like a, a tanky, not tanky, but a uh, not quite a taunt, but close to being a taunt kind of character. Whenever your opponent gasts a spell game, plus 2 attack. That's pretty neat, but we'll drop the dancing swords, and we'll swing there. And then next turn, I'm going to be able to drop the Flesh-Eating Ghoul. And then after that, I'll drop the Piloted Shredder, depending on what happens. Like, right now, I'm pretty much minion-focused. I have very few non-minion cards. And I think that's mainly the advantage I'm going to have. I'm kind of a Zulok when it comes down to it. I have lots of things, and he might just heal himself. That's hopefully what he's going to do. Whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. You didn't heal yourself! Why didn't you heal yourself? That is a really good draw right now. Not quite what was planned. Or whenever a minion dies. So, uh... We'll play him. We'll... Zombie Chow, I'm just sorry that that happened. That does kind of suck. Like, we've all been there just forgetting to do something like that. And, uh, yeah, that, that actually really does suck quite a bit. I feel bad for the guy. I feel really bad for the guy. Hmm. Summon a random two-cost minion. Well, let's see what two-cost minion he's going to get, shall we? A 1-3. Let's drive the 4-4 into it. Drop the loot hoarder. And the reason I ran the swords in first was so that it could buff up the flesh-eating ghoul. Because otherwise it would have just buffed this guy up and then he would have been left just like that. You know, he would have still been 4. So I've actually taken him down to 17 as opposed to 18 health. He could still kill this, like, deal 5 damage, restore 5 health to hero, and basically get a 10 health heal. Or do a holy and kill a lot of things. But now that pumps that up to a 7 at this point in time, I believe. Yep, 7-1, so that heal didn't really help him too much at this point in time. I have 5 mana. I can play 2 minions. Let's throw that down and maybe punish him, punish him for playing spells. Hit him for 7... And four, he's going to get card draw off me this turn. But right now, I have a major void advantage. If he puts out a taunt, I can silence it. I can throw out a divine shield eventually when I get up to eight mana. And I can also throw out a piloted shredder. What is he going to do? Destroy a minion with five attack or more. Now this thing goes up to five attack. So now that punished him for that. So now this thing's a five, five for four, which is pretty good value. But he just wasted two spells on that. And now I have bow I can throw. First, let's life tap and see what we get out of it. The Matter Bomber. I don't want to throw him now because I, I don't want to give him cards. Don't want to give him cards at all. None. Take him down to six health. This is a kind of a blowout. If he throws down a big taunt, I'll just silence the crap out of it and I win. But judging he may not have a taunt right now, or he has a big heal, he could have lots of he could have a few things right now. A 1-7 taunt. I am so sorry, my friend. I am so sorry. That sucks. <laughs> that really does suck. That's like his last ditch effort to try to get this. So let's uh, shatter his hopes and dreams mercilessly and smash him in the face. Well played. There we go. Another victory is under my belt. And that was actually a really... Let me actually check how long that... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to check how long that went, but I realized everything's minimized on my screen. So we'll just leave it at that. 
and I'm gonna, you know, let's do another one. That was a really quick run. Let's do another one. I feel like that was not much of a video. Let's do another one. Give you, give you more bang for your buck here. Hopefully this one will go a little bit better, because that was maybe, what, a two or three minute game? And I don't have the whole big, let's look at all the cards and build a deck section of this now. And now we get the mirror match. We got Warlock v. Warlock, Gul'dan v. Gul'dan. And I start, I actually go first for a change. We'll drop both of these. Oh, the piloted Sky Golem, I want to play it, but it's six costs. And I don't want to open my hand with six costs, I have two. Okay, Flame Imp, if he throws something really impressive, I can Dark Bomb it or throw a Loot Hoarder turn two. Two mana for three damage. That is Lightning Strike. That is a Lightning Strike from, from, uh, Magic, basically. Basically a Lightning Strike. Take control of it. That's, uh, not gonna be very useful here, is it? I'll throw out something I can kill. Throw out something I can kill, please. What the hell is, th is that? Okay. Loot Hoarder. Uh. Uh. I. He could Mortal Coil. I. Face. I don't know. What am I supposed to do there? He coined for a 1-1. Like, yeah, draw a card, but it, now he's going to Mortal Coil it. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's why I didn't do it to begin with. I, I did make the right decision, but now he's got another one drop. He's got his own Flame Imp. I can Dark Bomb that guy. Really tick him off. Or I can drop a 2-2 two, two Taunt. Draw. I can run the Loot Hoarder into it. I can also just save that for him. I can run the Loot Hoarder into it. Draw a card. Maybe I'll draw something good out of it. Potentially. Well, we got that. And we'll throw a Taunt down. He has to deal with this now. And next turn, I can silence any kind of minion he throws out. If he throws out something with something special, like that Enrage. I can just flat out kill that, though, this turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. Although, there's that. Oh, why did I have to make the decision so hard? We'll just kill it. Dark Bomb! And we'll draw a card. And it's a zombie chow. Okay. Good enough for me. Good enough for moi. But next turn, I can throw out... I can silence, I can throw out the Kazan Mystic, which is a 4 3 for 4. Not bad, but could be much better. Give a minion to attack. Thank you. I sincerely appreciate it very, very, very much. That would be a 5 5. Well, let's see. We can throw two cards out. Let's throw that out because it's not going to get any more valuable than it is now. Hi, Caitlin. I'm recording. Say hi to YouTube. Da 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 da. Time for killing. The guy that I did the uh, Halo 2 stream with the other day, that's his wife. <laughs> She's a nice lady. What are you gonna do? No, don't, don't, no, leave that alone. Leave. That alone. Though, that stays alone. Shields? No. That stays alone. D Why not soul fire the one that gives you health? If I silence it, it can attack. <laughs> this is a really bad situation to be in. See what he does. Let's see what he does. He's going to trade the 4-2 into the 6-4, because that's incredible value for him. Or he's going to deal 4 damage to a minion with Shadow Bolt. What is this thing? I didn't even get to see what it was. Hold on. What was that? I <laughs> Lost Tall Strider. Oh, man. He's going to leave that be. We have to. Like, we, we, we have to to get around his stuff. Now he can attack with it, but we have to start putting stuff out there for him. Like, look how far behind he He's going to have to start life tapping to start kind of keeping up with me. And we'll see what he goes for now. That was a pretty obvious setup right there. He's life tapping first. 
seeing what he gets out of it. Next turn, I can throw two cards out like that. They'll never know what Ouch. Yep. Oh, there's a taunt I can throw out. That's good. This is probably a really good time for that card. So what we're going to do... Die, mage. We're going to hit that. Hit that, and that would actually make this guy a 6-6. Six, six. I don't think he has the ability to... Oh. Let's see what he does with a taunt. See what he does with a taunt. See if something happens. That's expected. And then he's going to Mortal Coil it? Yep, Mortal Coil. Should have seen it coming. Now he's going to kill one of he's going to trade. All right, and what does he have left? I'll put it on your hand. He can't replay it though, can he? Yep, he's going to life tap now. Okay. I'm down to 9. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now I have the health advantage, but he has a major card advantage. I'm pretty sure I am done. At this point in time. Pretty sure he has me. Oh, yeah. He really has me at this point. There is nothing I can do now. Because he's going to start drawing those big dream cards. Figures Arena gives him that. Like, that's just incredible. I'm going to drain life on that thing. I'm going to go ahead and tap because I can still play that. The drain life basically gave me a free, a free tap. I think my best bet now is just to DPS race him. And that's really all it seems that I to ha that I have right now is a DPS race. Because if I can if I can get him down, he's gonna shadow word death it, isn't he? Or he's gonna silence it, and then he's gonna kill it. What a jerk! Is there trouble? Can't be targeted. Okay, so it has hex proof. It has divine shield. He's gonna give him taunts and a geomancer, man. I need something. <laughs> I need something good. Please give me something good. Oh, give me something better. <laughs> give me a salted dog. Uh, he has to deal with my board right now. So what I can do, I can kill two of his guys. Because if I leave my guys out, I can do six this turn. He's going to just clear my board. I need to... I don't know what I need to do. Possibilities. Oh, that, I feel like it needs to go. Running the, program. Hug. the Divine Shield is just going to trade into that. Well, not trade. He's going to just pop it, run it into it. Which is what I would do. That's the smart thing to do right now is just run that Divine Shield into it. And that's one of the dream cards. Oh, he had to get like one of the best cards you could get for Arena out there. You know, he's going to do something, then just finish it off. But the longer he waits, the better. Yep, so now that thing's a five. Now it's a six. He's going to death it. Or he's going to silence it. He has another silence minion. Seriously. And then, yep, that was just pathetically awful. This went really south really fast. Like, these dream cards are just so freaking powerful. Like, let's see, 4, 8, 11, <laughs> 14, 17. Yep, I can't do, unless I get something good out of this. That's pretty good. He's going to kill it, but we'll see. I'm at least going to see it out because there's always the room for player error. Pretty sure I'm dead, but there's always room for somebody to do something really, really, really stupid. Like, okay, or Mortal Coil right there. And I think he still has enough damage. 4, 8, 11. Yeah, that's game. Oh, he hadn't attacked with Assyria yet. 
You could have just killed me. You didn't have to buff him up, you jerk. Oh, well, that's a game. That happened. That happened. That is Sarah just won him the game so hard. Oh, my goodness. Because it just traded with everything I put out and just fed him with cards. Why can't I get amazing cards like that? I don't think I have a legendary. No, I don't have a legendary. Why couldn't I get a legendary in anything that I ever do? I never get legendaries in my arena decks, so... I really hope you enjoyed that massacre, but uh, we'll be back, we'll be doing some more, and hopefully next time it'll go much, much, much better. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.